I'm Brian Zara, Justice of the Michigan Supreme Court. I'm delighted to speak to you about the United States Constitution, and I thank the Liberty Day Institute for providing me this opportunity to share my thoughts with you. I'm sure you've heard it said that our country is a melding pot of immigrants from all over the world. I'm evidence of this. My parents were born in the small European country of Malta. My parents immigrated to the United States in the 1950s in search of a better life. I am my parents' firstborn child, and I was born in the United States as a United States citizen. As a child of immigrants, I have a unique view of our government. My parents raised me to love this country and the Constitution on which it is founded. They repeatedly instilled in me the notion that the United States is the land of opportunity because it is a country of laws, not a country governed by the dictates of powerful people. It took me some time to fully understand what they meant by this. But as I studied our nation's founding, I came to have a great respect for the trials and tribulations of our founders and the values they hoped to instill in our government. This aided me to better understand what distinguishes the United States from all other governments in the world. Although I am a lawyer and a state Supreme Court justice, I enjoy a portion of the Constitution that provides no legal rules. Instead, it describes the aspirations of our founders and the aspirations of all Americans. This portion of the Constitution is the preamble and I enjoyed considering the words of the preamble in light of the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. While the Constitution was ratified 230 years ago, we should never forget that less than 13 years lapsed between the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776 and the ratification of the Constitution in 1789. Many of the same individuals who signed and helped draft the, the Declaration also participated in authoring and ratifying the Constitution. Perhaps the most famous part of the Declaration of Independence is its second paragraph, where it states that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The preamble to the Constitution also provides insight into our Founders' thinking. It provides, We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for a common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. The preamble identifies objectives entirely consistent with the rights declared in the Declaration of Independence. Most specifically, the preamble states the Constitution is offered to secure the blessings of liberty of our founders and their heirs. It is fair to surmise that the blessings of liberty referred to in the preamble relate to the inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness expressed in the Declaration of Independence. Thought in this way, one could say the Constitution was better was written to better protect those rights expressed in the Declaration of Independence. Abraham Lincoln perhaps the greatest president in our nation's history, viewed the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence as integral to each other. In a draft letter found among Lincoln's papers after his death, it was discovered that Lincoln viewed the Declaration of Independence with equal or greater reverence than he viewed the Constitution. Lincoln described the Declaration of Independence as an apple of gold. He described the Union and its Constitution as a frame of silver. According to Lincoln, 
The frame was made not to conceal or destroy the apple, but to adorn and preserve it. The frame was made for the apple, not the apple for the frame. By this, Lincoln meant that the guarantees of liberty and unalienable rights expressed in our Declaration of Independence are essential to secure free government for the people and by the people. These guarantees are protected by our Constitution, make us a government of laws uniquely different from all other governments of the world. So as you study the Constitution, I ask that you consider it in the context of the Declaration of Independence. The Constitution is the foundational law of our great nation. It is the supreme law that guards the principles of freedom and liberty enshrined in our Declaration of Independence. Thank you for your time.